David wrote more of the lyrics on that record? Yes, David wrote all the lyrics mm -hmm. on that record. So, of the lyrics and domination, you are responsible of all, most part of the, the lyrics. Me? Yeah. It's funny, because in Domination, he came in the studio writing lyrics. At the last minute, David was scratching down lyrics. Me? Yeah. And it's like, I didn't even get to preview them. You know, I told him that I wanted the band to stay what it was always, like on Ultras of Madness. The lyrics I wrote were very occult, very mm -hmm. spiritual. Now it's just bands that just talk about whatever, and kids are singing Tell these disdainful Trey. words because they're cool, but it's not real. There's no, there's no substance there. Like uh, bands that, you know, promote um, sticking dildos in their ass or something like that. What's what's that? Is that is that culture? Is that today's culture? Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs. Who's a better vocalist? Now, this is in celebration of the new Morbid Angel full length with Steve Tucker back on vocals again. So, we are going to go with David Vincent versus Steve Tucker. This does not count Michael Browning, Error, Morbid Angel, a.k.a. Uh, Abominations of Desolation. That record does not count right now, okay? Because I know Morbid Angel has had three vocalists. We're just going to concentrate on the two major ones. And I had to fanboy out a bit. But don't let that defer you away from uh, my choice of who's a better vocalist. But first things fucking last. We're blasting Vastum Hole Below. A Dream of Ritual Abuse. Oakland death metal on 20 bucks spin. So fucking heavy. So good. One of my favorite bands in general. One of my favorite death metal bands. Just so fucking good. Vastum. If you don't know who this band is, yeah, you are in for a fucking treat. Check out uh, A Hole Below, Dream of Ritual Abuse, Carnal Law, Parasitic Lust. Fuck yeah, you'll be thanking me later. But, um, uh, alright, I just want to put one thing clear. I want to make it 100% clear right now. I am not counting Altars of Madness. I'm sorry, because in that case, no matter what, Dave Vincent wins. But the fact that his delivery of vocals on this record is so different from everything else. This has a more like black metal-esque like vocal delivery where he's like kind of venomously spitting the words like Ghouls attack the church, crush the holy priest. You know, it's more like <laughs> Makes me hiccup sometimes when I mock Dave Vincent. But uh, this record is just so fucking perfect and it's just not fair because I would obviously pick Dave Vincent because in my opinion this is the best Morbid Angel vocal delivery that there was. So this does not count sadly. Altars of Madness, seriously one of the best death metal records ever if you have never heard this. I don't know what you've been doing, but stop watching this right now and just go fucking turn this on. Immortal Rights, Suffocation, Visions from the Dark Side, Maze of Torment, Chapel of Ghouls, Bleed for the Devil, Damnation, Blasphemy, Evil Spells, and if you can find it, Lord of All Fevers and Plagues. Such a good fucking song. I don't know why it's not on this vinyl, but... Alright, so we'll start things off with Dave Vincent. I know Blessed Be the Sick is fucking awesome, as is Covenant. But, we're gonna be going over Domination Error Dave Vincent. This is just when they uh, got picked up by Giant, and uh, Giant had no idea what the fuck to do with Morbid Angel. And uh, as you'll see in this little interview, um, how Dave Vincent felt about it. And then uh, we'll talk about a track and whatnot. And yeah, we'll discuss this. Then we'll throw on a Steve Tucker record. So we're going to throw on Where the Slime Lives. Give Dave Vincent his shot. 
Let's see how he holds up vocally. Especially in comparison to the records that came before this. We're not counting altars, so blessed be the sick and covenant. Already some overproduced vocals. Sounds cool though. It sounds like he's underwater. I love that riff too. But don't let the riffs deter you. This is about vocals. Very understandable. Dave Vincent pronunciates very, very well. But lyrically, like, I mean, what happened to all the occult stuff and, like, just, you know, cool Trey Asgaroth, you know, just evil occult shit. Like, the slime lives in Trey's backyard. We all know that. But just look at his cover artwork. What the fuck were they thinking? But, all right. So that was David Vincent. You kind of have a standard stockish death metal delivery vocal wise aside from this part right here which is kind of thinking outside the box and that's cool but where the slime lives is one of morbid angels better tracks off this record especially so still it's kind of sterile and like I don't know. There's something weird about it that I can't just put my finger on, but let's give Steve Tucker a turn, shall we? Steve Tucker's turn. We're going to give him a chance on the B-side of Gateways to Annihilation with my favorite track off this record, Opening the Gates. Opening of the Gates. My fault, but there's the man right there. Next to Rutan. Trey and Pete. And again, we are just going off of vocals. Already awesome. Way, way deeper vocals way more cavernous sounding as well like it just like drenched in slime hell yeah All right, so now let's compare, and as you can also hear, Tucker is very good at pronunciation. You can follow along very easily on the lyric sheet, and yeah. So that was Steve Tucker from Gateways to Annihilation, opening of the gates, so fucking good. So let's see uh, who did a better job, shall we? I just want to hear this part real quick. The song's so fucking good, I'm sorry. Alright, so it's time to make up our minds. Uh, I had to throw on Morbid Angel in terms of madness. Just so you can hear what I'm talking about when it comes to Dave's vocals on here. But... 
you'll be able to tell the massive difference between domination and alters, and you'll see why alters does not count for this battle. But we listened to Dave Vincent on domination, and I put on Where the Slime Lives. I know it has a lot of effects on his vocals and whatnot, but when it comes down to it, the whole entire album here, it's kind of overproduced, especially in the vocal department. I mean, Dave sounds great, but at the same time, very sterile, very stock. I mean, None So Vile was just a year away by Cryptopsy. And you had bands like Korn and whatnot selling out like stadiums and Morbid Angel on giant records. I, I think that this was just a product of the times and Dave trying to make and take Morbid Angel to the next level musically. And it just didn't work. Like throwing out the occult style lyrics and whatnot, it just. Yeah, this album ends up being a mediocre output by a great band, and compared to this, Dave sounds like complete shit. But on a lot of these tracks, you have nothing but a pretty stagnant sounding, bored Dave Vincent, and it's not flattering. So, besides his awesome word pronunciation, and just overall deep, you know, death metal vocals this is pretty standard and mediocre at best where steve tucker on fucking gateways to annihilation really brought morbid angel into the 2000s with an amazing vocal delivery on opening of the gates this is one of my favorite morbid angel lineups by the way probably my third favorite but oh my god so fucking good so heavy not stock at all. I mean, kind of standard death metal, but like at the same time, it's Morbid Angel and has that kind of definitive like death metal slimy sound. And I know I threw on Where the Slime Lives, but Where the Slime Really Lives is with Steve Tucker's vocal delivery on Gateways to Annihilation, Formula's Fatal to Flesh, and hopefully on the new record. So I'm going to give this whole entire contest to Steve Tucker. Hails. And uh, yeah, this whole entire record, I think, is some of Steve Tuck Tucker's best fucking work. He sounds great on here. And especially on Opening the Gates, which is one of my favorite Morbid Angel songs to begin with. Fuck yeah. Just a great, great vocal delivery. And a great vocalist, Steve Tucker fucking rolls. So, hopefully you can hear in the background why I am omitting Morbid Angel Alters of Madness from this contest. Because Dave would win, hands down, no questions asked. This is essential, there's nothing bad you could say about the vocal delivery. I have had arguments saying that this is more of a black metal record than a death metal record, but... That's just like, you know, your opinion, man. And this is my opinion. So I want to hear yours below in the comments. So let me know what you, you know, what you think is a better, who you think is a better fucking vocalist. Dave Vincent or Steve Tucker when it comes to Morbid Angel. And thanks for watching. Hails. this kind of bloodish red color and alligators like to move up and down this from um, lake to lake and stuff 